this video is a continuation from the previous video. Okay, so what I've done here is I've added a new layer. Whoops, right there. Create new layer. So I've got a new layer here. And I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to pick black. And I'm going to take my paint bucket, which if I pull down the corner of my gradient tool, you'll see the paint bucket tool. And on that layer, I'm going to dump black. Okay. So as we talked about in layers, because this layer is black and it's, it's completely opaque, I can't see through it. Now, if I do an overlay, or let's try soft light, and bring down the opacity, this is yet another way that I can use color to change my image. By doing this, it, it really darkened the overall image. Let's pick a different color and I'll show you what happens. Just another way to apply an overall change to color and balance your system. Now we have all kinds of options. If you're working with something um, where you want to replace the color that's there with an entire single monochromatic color, this is how you do it. I've got green on my layer, it's 100% opaque, and I've changed it to color. Hue also does a good job of that. Sometimes pin light, sometimes not, didn't. But that's another way that if you want to take an image very quickly, monochromatic it, just put a layer with another color over it, change it to color, and it will color everything. Let's see, what else can I show you? Um, colors can be used to darken. Um, I wouldn't want to use that color. I usually would probably want to use a neutral gray like there. Um, colors can be used to darken what's there. You see I completely flattened out my character. I don't like it, but if you ever have something that's overexposed or has a lot of ridiculous highlights, you can use a neutral gray to darken your overall composition to get rid of that. You can also use colors to lighten. There we go, that one's kind of a little bit better. And then you don't always want full opacity, so let's turn that down, take it back to lighten. And now I've lightened my overall color on my screen. Okay, so there are many different ways that you can make adjustments to color, and Photoshop is great for being able to do that. A lot of the time you take um, a, a photo of something and you uh, want to make changes to it. Let me show you one other thing right quick and then we'll be done with this video. One more liner. I can, I can use the paintbrush and I can just color one area. And let's pretend that I did that where I just got it right. I can use that layer. See, so I, I made it darker on just one area. So you don't have to apply it to the whole screen. You can use your paintbrush to just paint on a portion of your canvas, like I just did here. Darken. And it will bring down the highlights. And you see what happened when I did that? By darkening everything around it, this character really stood out and I didn't lose anything else. So there are ways to paint on a layer, not on the image itself, but on a layer with your paintbrush, just like we did for the, the last assignment, and then play with the blending modes to achieve different impacts to your color overall. Okay, I'm gonna end this here.